Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to import a JSON file. We're going to do this for a simple JSON file and then a more complex JSON file with nested arrays. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So your first step is to go to the data tab on the ribbon. Then you go to get data from file and then from JSON. Then you need to navigate to wherever you've saved your JSON files. So I'm gonna start off with this JSON file where we've got some weather history. I'll select it and then click on import. Now you can see that this has opened Power Query or the Power Query editor, and I've got a list here of records. Now, what I want to do is go to this button to table, click on it. Don't change anything here, just click on OK. Then you want to click on this button. It's got two little arrows, one pointing left, the other right. Untick this option, use original column name as prefix. And if you want to exclude certain fields from your import, you can untick the fields there. We're going to go with all of these fields. So all I need to do is click on OK. And there's the data. To import this data into Excel, I click on this close and load button. So that's a simple example. Let's try a more complex example. Data, get data from file, JSON. And I'm gonna pick this one here, import. So again, I click on to table. Click on OK here. Then I click on this little button with the two little arrows. If necessary, I can exclude certain fields from my import. And I need to untick this option. Use original column name as prefix. Click on OK. Now you can see that with this one, we get a field called friends. And all we get is this word list. Now that's an indication that there is a nested array within this JSON file. So what I can do is click on this little button, expand to new rows. So I get record. And then what I've got to do is go back to the same button and you can see the fields there, name and hobbies. So I click on okay. So now I'm getting some names and you can see I've got another instance of this button. So I go back to that button and I'm going to go to expand new rows. And there we are. We can see that Michael, for example, has two hobbies running and genealogy. Now, what I could do is combine both of these hobbies in one row. So I'm just going to cancel this last step. I'm going to go up to this button. And instead of expanding to new rows, I'm going to extract values. Now, I want a delimiter between the two hobbies. So I'm going to say that's custom. And I want a comma and a space. Click on OK. And there we have a list of the hobbies for each of these names in one row. So if I wanted to import that into Excel, I just go back to this button, close and load. And there's my data. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.